que si no me fuera el consolador no vendría a vosotros mas si me fuere os lo enviaré the cost of the Holy Ghost the cost of the Holy Ghost we'll talk about that but the book of John chapter number or actually going back a few chapters chapter number 7 mismo evangelio de Juan capítulo 7 uh, in verse number 38 let's look at verse number 38 Versículo 38, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. El que cree en mí, como dice las escrituras de su interior, correrán ríos de agua viva. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Esto dijo del Espíritu que habían de recibir los que creyesen en él. él uh, pues aún no había venido el Espíritu Santo porque Jesús no había sido, no había sido aún glorificado. If you think about that, it says that he could not give the Holy Ghost, or he would not give the Holy Ghost because this, he had not yet been glorified. Dijo que no pudieran dar, mandar, el Espíritu porque aún no ha sido glorificado. I want to ask you a question today. What do you think the Spirit of God is? ¿Qué piensa usted es el Espíritu de Dios? What do you think that the Holy Ghost is? ¿Qué piensa que es el, 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 el Espíritu Santo? Because part of the mission of Jesus Christ, parte de la misión de Jesucristo, era para darte este don tan importante because part of his mission was to give you this important gift let's go to the book of Luke I know this is not a traditional uh, Luke we're going to go to Luke chapter 24 uh, you'll say okay, I know this is not necessarily a traditional type of uh, Easter message quizás no es un mensaje de Pascua tradicional but we're going to go to the book of Luke chapter number 24 and uh, Jesus this is after his resurrection And uh, let's look at verse number 47, Lucas capítulo 24, versículo 47. And that repentance of remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Vamos a leer versículo número Uh, 49. He aquí yo enviaré la promesa de mi Padre sobre vosotros, pero quedaos vosotros en la ciudad de Jerusalén hasta que seáis investidos del poder desde lo alto. I want you to wait. Quiere que, que esperes. Quiere que esperen ustedes en la ciudad de Jerusalén uh, until you be endued with power from on high hasta que seas investidos de poder desde lo alto. Aleluya. There is a connection, hay una conexión between the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, el poder de la resurrección, and the power that he wants to put into your heart. Y el poder que él quiere poner en su corazón. Let's pray right now. I want the Holy Ghost to, to lead us and to open our hearts. Let's pray together. Oremos en este momento para que el Señor nos dirige. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So let's pray, Lord Jesus. We love you today. Oh, we love you today, Jesus. We love you today. Amamos a ti, Señor. Hallelujah. The power of the resurrection. El poder de la resurrección. The book of Romans, chapter number one. El libro de Romanos, capítulo número uno, says that Jesus Christ was declared to be the Son of God with power. Jesucristo declarado ser el hijo de Dios con poder by the resurrection of, according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead según el espíritu de santidad por la resurrección de entre los muertos he is declared to be the son of God with power by the resurrection of the dead declarado ser el hijo de Dios con poder por la resurrección entre los muertos the Bible scholars here today estos uh, uh, estudiantes de la Biblia I am not preaching that Jesus uh, was not the son of God before the resurrection no estoy predicando que no era la, el que de Dios antes de la resurrección but there was a power that could not keep Jesus Christ in the grave 
había un poder que no pudiera quitar guardar a Jesucristo en Hades en el sepulcro the Bible said it was the power of holiness dijo la Biblia el poder de la santidad his purity, his righteousness su por, uh, pur, uh, pureza su rectitud Aleluya. More than that, Jesus had already said, I came down from above. Dijo Jesús, antes yo me vino de, de, de arriba. And I'm going to go back. Voy a ascenderme otra vez a los cielos. Now, I'm not even going to explain this, but we know that Jesus Christ pre-existed as the plan of God. Sabemos que Jesús, si Él estaba, existía antes como el plan de Dios. He pre-existed as the word. Aleluya, existía antes como uh, la palabra, the idea, el idea, the expression of God, la expresión de Dios, uh, the, uh, de, de Dios. And so Jesus in his essence, Jesús en su esencia divina, He was always pure. Uh, siempre estaba puro. He had great power, gran poder, and he never was afraid of death. Nunca tenía temor de la muerte. Hallelujah. And Jesus wants to give you that power. Amen. Señor quiere darle este poder. There are many here that already have that power. Hay muchos aquí que ya tienen este poder. Your sins have been washed away in the blood of Jesus Christ. Sus pecados han sido borrados con la sangre de Jesús. You have been pardoned in baptism and repentance. Usted ha sido perdonado con bautismo y arrepentimiento. But when you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, cuando usted recibió el bautismo del Espíritu Santo, you received Jesus, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, Not just, you know, we're not going to divide because you can't divide. No vamos a dividir a Jesús. No podemos dividir a Él, su, su vida y su humanidad. We don't divide his humanity. We don't divide. We, you can't separate those things. No podemos, no podemos separar esas cosas. But you receive not only the divine part of the Holy Ghost, but also the human experience of, the, of Jesus Christ. Pero también la experiencia humana de Cristo Jesús. You see, part of the biggest problem with mankind, el problema más grande de la humanidad, is that they were weak in their, in, in their, in their spiritual man. Es que estaban uh, fracos en portugués. Uh, how do you say weak in Spanish? I forget. Débil. And, uh, and, su, and su humanidad. And so let's look at the book of Romans. I don't want this to be a Bible study, but I got to turn here. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Romans, chapter number eight. Hallelujah. And it speaks very specifically. Of why you need the Holy Ghost. Habla muy específicamente como usted necesita el don del Espíritu Santo. And you don't need to feel like, uh, to, 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 feel, uh, to feel like you have to do what another church says. What another church says. Usted no tiene que ser, que sentir responsable. Obedecer las doctrinas de otras iglesias que no tienen el poder de Dios. Because there are many churches that don't have the power of God. Early Christianity was a church that was full of power. The power of the Holy Ghost. La iglesia primitiva era una iglesia llena con el poder del Espíritu Santo. This is a major Bible doctrine. Es una doctrina grande en la Biblia. That we cannot be Christians and have the victory without the power of the Holy Ghost. No podemos ser cristianos y tener la victoria sin el poder del Espíritu Santo. Jesus told his disciples, don't go anywhere until you get the Holy Ghost. Jesús dijo a sus discípulos, no vayan a ningún lugar hasta que recibas el don del Espíritu Santo. And here is why. Aquí es la razón por lo cual dijo esto. He said, he said, there is no condemnation of them which are in Christ Jesus. We're going to skip through this here. Ahora pues, ninguna condenación hay para los que están en Cristo Jesús. It said, uh, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death, what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Porque la ley del Espíritu de vida en Cristo Jesús me ha librado de la ley del pecado y de la muerte. Porque lo que era imposible para la ley, 
por cuanto era débil por la carne Dios enviando a su hijo en semejanza de carne de pecado y por causa del pecado condenó el pecado o al pecado en la carne I don't want to spend too much time but let's go ahead and read some more, some more here that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit verse 6 to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace Versículo 4, para que la justicia de la ley se complese en nosotros, complese en nosotros, que no andamos conforme a la carne, sino conforme al Espíritu. Versículo 6, porque el ocuparse en la carne es muerte, pero el ocuparse en el Espíritu es vida y paz. Verse number 9, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, capital S, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Mas vosotros vivís según la carne, si vosotros vivís según la carne, uh, uh, si el Espíritu de Dios uh, uh, mora en vosotros y si alguno uh, no tiene el Espíritu de Cristo, no es de él. Verse number 11. I don't know if we should read this right now or come back to this. Uh, I think I'm going to go on here. Let's pray right now. Let's pray the Lord has his way. Oramos que el Señor tenga su voluntad. Señor, hable con nosotros. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gracias, Señor. The power of the resurrection. We are weak in our flesh. Somos débiles en nuestra carne. We don't have time to look at verse, uh, chapter 7. No tenemos tiempo de leer capítulo 7. But it is something that is also written about in several other epistles. Pero es un asunto, es un, un tema que está eh, escrito, sobre lo cual está escrito otras uh, palabras, paráfagos uh, y todo eso en las otras escrituras. And that is that we have a struggle with our flesh. Que tenemos una lucha con nuestra carne. This flesh without Jesus Christ does not have eternal life. Esta carne sin Jesucristo no tiene la vida eterna. Do you know that? ¿Sabe esto? Esta carne no tiene la vida eterna. And so Jesus came to give you eternal life. Jesús vino para darte la vida eterna. To give you eternal life, you had to, you had to, there had to be a way that you could live forever. Pudiera ser una manera de que usted pudiera vivir para siempre. Someone had to pay for your sins. Jesus did that. Alguien tenía que pagar por sus pecados. Jesús lo hizo. But someone had to face up to death for you. Alguien tenía que experimentar la muerte. Pagar la muerte. There is a cost. The Bible says the cost, the payment of sin is death. Dijo la Biblia, el pago de la, del pecado es la muerte. And no matter how you say on the outside, ni, no, me, no me importa cómo usted se vea por afuera, there is a fear of death. Hay un temor de la muerte that Jesus Christ came to take off of your shoulders. <laughs> Jesucristo vino para quitar sus hombros. Jesus Christ had to die not for himself. Él tenía que morir no por él mismo, but he had to die for you. Tenía que morir para ti, para mí. A man without sin, un hombre sin pecado, the only perfect man, el único hombre perfecto. The Bible calls him in the book of 1 uh, Corinthians 15, la Biblia lo, lo nombra él en el libro de Uh, primero de Corintios capítulo 15 the Bible calls him the second Adam que es el segundo Adam he is the second man that started off perfect el segundo hombre representando todo la, todo la, la raza humana but this man lived a perfect life este hombre vivió una vida perfecta there was a part of Jesus Christ his flesh un parte de Jesucristo era carne and he was tempted in all points like as we are tentado en todos puntos como nosotros he was wounded he cried he, he slept he hungered estaba herido él durmió él tenía que comer él tenía todos esas debilidades humanos but he overcame everything for us el sobrevivió todo por nosotros you say why why did he do that porque hizo eso he did it for you él lo hizo para usted but he also was crucified on the cross también crucificado en la cruz de Calvario 
hung up to, to hang in front of humanity for six hours on the cross. Seis horas sobre la cruz de Calvario. He is experimenting the payment of sin for you and for me. Experimentando el pago de la muerte para, para usted y para mí. All of the guilt and the shame, toda la culpa y toda la vergüenza that was on me and on you, he took upon the cross. Todo esto experimentó sobre la cruz. That's how great his love is for you and his love is for me. Tan grande es su amor para ti y para mí. You could not be forgiven. Usted no pudiera ser perdido. You could not be saved. No pudiera ser salvado. And you could not rise from the dead. No pudiera usted resucitar de los muertos. Do you want to live forever? ¿Quiere usted vivir para siempre? Do you want to go to heaven? ¿Quiere usted ir a los cielos? I'm preaching to you that when Jesus rose from the dead, he did it for you. Cuando Él resucitó de los muertos, Él lo hizo para ti. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yo me siento el Espíritu Santo en este momento. I want to invite the musicians to come. Quiero invitar los músicos que vengan. I'll be a few more minutes. Pasaré un pocos minutos más. But when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, I feel like I'm in the Holy Ghost. Thank God. Hallelujah. Yo me siento que estoy en el Espíritu. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ came, He rose from the dead. Did you know he was among us for 40 days? Estaba andando con nosotros por 40 días. Not me, you know. Maybe my great, 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 great. No, no, it's probably nobody. Yeah. 40 days, a month and 10 days. Una mes y diez días estaba con nosotros. I still have dreams. My precious grandmother. Todavía tengo sueños de mi abuela preciosa. Was filled with the Holy Ghost. Llena con el Espíritu Santo. She won many souls. I would love to, I used to love to hear her pray and cry. Gana muchas almas. And she won me to God. Me ganó a mí al Señor. She's gone on to be with the Lord. Ya se pasó ella está con el Señor. But in my dreams, my grandmother's always alive. En mis sueños está siempre viva. I'll be with my friends in my dreams. My friends said today. En mis sueños yo estoy con mis amigos de hoy. And my grandmother's there. And I say, Grandma, Abuela, ¿por qué estás aquí? And she looks at me. I thought we went to your funeral. Pensé que iba a su funeral. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I don't remember that. I know it's just a dream. I'm not preaching it like this is the Bible. No estoy predicando mi sueño como es la Biblia. But in my dream, I've come to be accustomed now. Ya estoy acostumbrado. My grandma's still alive. Jesus Christ came back and said, I'm still alive. His own brothers and sisters believed in him. Now I can't go into apologetics. No me puede entrar en la uh, apologeticas. People say, oh, so it's just a big story. Well, he convinced his own family, unlike some other folks, like founders of other religions. Él convenció su propia familia. And within 30 years, Christianity numbered in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions. 30 años, la cristiandad tenía cientos de, de miles y quizás millones de gentes. Now, I've been saved. I've been in church for 47 years. He sido en la iglesia por 47 años. I can remember things back from those first 40-something years, 30 years. Jesus Christ was only gone for just a few decades and the churches were going everywhere. He really lived. He really rose again. Él vivió verdaderamente y subió de los muertos. The Roman historians, Herod, uh, Herodes and, and other, Pliny the Younger, los, los historianos romanos, estuvieron de él. They wrote of him saying, there was in, in, uh, in this land, of, I forget what they call it in those days, Israel, in esta tierra de hoy en Israel, this man called Christus, este hombre que se llamaba Christus, and uh, that he was crucified, era crucificado por Pilato, and it appears that everyone is saying that he rose from the dead. Y parece ellos, ellos creyeron que él subió de los muertos. And uh, it's just taken over the world. Está cambiando todo el mundo. Because nobody could prove, if there was, a, if there was still a body, si había todavía un cuerpo, they could have proved it wasn't true. 
If there was not an empty tomb, si había un, un tumbo vacío, pudiera probar que no era la verdad. His own family that did not believe in him, su propia familia que no creyeron en él, ya creyeron en él después de verlo. They believed in him after he was resurrected. And he appeared for 40 days, 40 días, showing everybody, I'm alive. I'm going to go. Yo voy a salir. And I'm going to tell you what to do. Déjame decir lo que tenga que hacer. You need to wait in Jerusalem. Tiene que esperar en Jerusalem. Para pocos días. And I will send you the power of the Holy Ghost. Yo te enviaré el poder del Espíritu Santo. I don't want you to go anywhere. No quiere que se vaya a ningún parte. In the book of Acts chapter number one, he said, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Digo en el libro de Hechos capítulo uno. He said, he said that they should not, verse number four, being assembled together with a command, they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. Estando juntos, dijo ellos, esperad por la promesa del Padre, la cual oísteis de mí. Porque Juan ciertamente bautizó con agua, pero yo bautizaré con el Espíritu Santo. Because John truly baptized with water, but I will baptize you with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Dentro de no pocos días. I want you to wait. I want you to wait. The Holy Ghost is coming. El Espíritu Santo está viendo. What is the Holy Ghost? ¿Qué es el Espíritu Santo? The same Spirit that was in Jesus Christ. That when he rose from the dead, he took the first man, the first perfect man's body to heaven. Cuando él resucitó de los muertos, puso su cuerpo en los cielos a la derecha del mano del Señor. That doesn't mean two gods. Hallelujah. But at the right hand of God of all authority. The Bible calls him the first fruits of them that, dead, that were dead. La Biblia habla él como los primicias de los que estaban muertos. The Bible talks about him as the captain of our salvation. Habla de él como la capitana de nuestra salvación. All to tell us he's just the beginning of the resurrection. Para decirnos, él es solamente el empiezo de la resurrección de la humanidad salva. And when he pours into us the gift of the Holy Ghost, we have that power of the resurrection that he won for us. Cuando Él nos da el Espíritu Santo, recibimos también este poder. I could talk to you about the Holy Ghost. Pudiera hablar con ustedes acerca del Espíritu Santo. The Holy Ghost is the love of God. Es el amor de Dios. The Holy Ghost is the peace of God. Es la paz de Dios. The Bible says that. The joy of the Holy Ghost. The joy of God comes with the Holy Ghost. Viene el gozo del Señor como el Espíritu Santo. Con el Espíritu Santo. The Holy Ghost is real. The Holy Ghost, you can, you can feel it and it saturates us. Es verdadero. Puede sentirlo. Puede saturarnos. The Holy Ghost makes us come alive. El Espíritu Santo nos avivica. The Bible says you will be born again. Dijo la Biblia que serás nacido de nuevo. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you have the new life of Jesus Christ living in you. Tiene la nueva vida de Jesucristo viviendo en usted. All of a sudden, you feel differently. De repente, se siente diferente. All of a sudden, you have love and joy you've never had. De repente, recibe a gozo y amor que nunca ha tenido. I'm talking about getting something inside of you. Estoy hablando de recibiendo algo por adentro de usted. It's not like an idea. No es solamente una idea. It's not just making a decision. No es solamente haciendo una decisión. It's not just believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. No es solamente creer en el Señor Jesucristo. If we could be saved with our minds, they would have been saved in the Old Testament. Si pudieran ser salvos, solamente con sus mentes pudieran ser salvos en el Antiguo Testamento. Because they had lots of rules and lots of teaching. Muchas reglas, muchas, enseña, muchas enseñanzas. But Jesus said, no, I want to give you the victory that was inside of me. Quiere darte la victoria que estaba por dentro de mí. I want to give you the victory that I had when I said no to the devil every second Every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every year of my life, I can give you what's inside of me. Yo puedo darte el poder que estaba por dentro de mí cuando yo resistí el diablo cada segundo, cada minuto, cada hora, cada día, cada año de mi vida. And I'm going to give you the same thing inside of me. Voy a darte la misma cosa por dentro de mí. 
that the grave could not hold me. <laughs> it couldn't hold me down because I'm bigger than the grave. Yo estoy más grande como la como el sepulcro. Esta cosa, the Bible said, the grave could not hold him because of his righteousness. Because of his power. When you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, cuando usted reciba el don del Espíritu Santo, and you've repented, ya arrepentido, your sins are washed away. Están borrados sus pecados. And you have something powerful in you, more powerful than death. Lo que tiene por adentro de usted más poderoso como la muerte. You have something more powerful in you that when everything is going wrong, you can still have power and peace. Puede recibir más o algo más poderoso por adentro que cuando todo está mal en el mundo y en su alrededor. Usted tiene paz más fuerte. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that dwelleth in me. Dijo Pablo, yo puedo hacer todo lo puedo en Cristo. Oh, más, todo lo puedo en Cristo que me fortalece. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. There we go. And he also said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. También dijo Pablo, más grande es el que está en mí que el que está en el mundo. Well, I've preached today about something so powerful. He predicado acerca de algo tan poderoso. When Jesus Christ rose from the dead, it was the fact that now every human being can come out of the grave and live forever. Para demostrar el hecho de que cada humano puede salir de la muerte y vivir para siempre. Everyone here can go to heaven. Todos por aquí pueden ir a los cielos. God loves every one of you. Señor, le ama a todos ustedes. But remember that Jesus Christ was baptized. Señor estaba bautizado. And he told all of his disciples to wait for the Holy Ghost. Y dijo, mandó a todos sus discípulos esperar para la promesa del Padre. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. And Peter, on the day of Pentecost, they said, what shall we do? Peter said, repent. This is Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. ¿Qué haremos? Dijo ellos en el día de Pentecostés. Y Pedro dijo, arrepentíos y bautícese cada uno de vosotros en el nombre de Jesucristo para el perdón de los pecados. And he said, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Y dijo, y recibiréis el don del Espíritu Santo. To receive the Holy Ghost is not hard. Recibir el don del Espíritu no es duro. But just as, just as Jesus prayed in the garden and then he had victory, so we also must repent and have some time of, of changing before we can receive the Holy Ghost. Como Jesús luchó en el jardín de Getsemane, como Él lloró, como Él no arrepintió, pero batalló la carne. También nosotros debemos arrepentir de todo nuestro corazón. Look, if you want the Holy Ghost, I cannot give it to you. Mire, si usted quiere el don del Espíritu Santo, no le puede dar, darle a mí yo a usted, el Espíritu Santo. You gotta want it bad. Usted tiene que desearlo de todo su corazón. I'm just telling you, solamente estoy diciéndole. That you will not feel the power of God like you need to feel, like God wants you to feel. Diciéndole que no vas a sentir el poder de Dios como usted necesita, como el Señor quiere que usted se siente. Until you pray with all of your heart, hasta que usted ore de todo su corazón. And you say, Lord, please forgive me of my sins. Perdóname de mis pecados. And Lord, come into my heart. Venga a mi corazón. And when you begin to worship God, si empieza a alabar al Señor, when you begin to praise Him with all of your heart, cuando alabas a Él de todo su corazón, you begin to feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Vas a sentir la presencia de Dios. The Bible said the Lord inhabits the praises of His people. Dijo la Biblia, Señor, mora, habita en las alabanzas de su pueblo. And that we enter to His gates with thanksgiving and to His courts with praise. Entramos por sus atrios con alabanza, uh, por sus, uh, con, con alabanza y con con uh, uh, alabando a su nombre. Let's all stand together today. Vamos a ponernos de pie en esta mañana. Thank you so much for your patience today. Gracias por su paciencia hoy en día. And this church wants you to have a wonderful day. Esa iglesia quiere que usted tenga un día maravilloso. But before we are dismissed, antes de despedirnos to the rest of the party, uh, resto de la, la fiesta, 
I want to give everyone a chance to talk to the Lord. Quiero dar todos ustedes la oportunidad de hablar con el Señor. I received the Holy Ghost and God delivered me from so many things. Yo recibí el Señor, el Espíritu Santo, el Señor me libro de tantas cosas. So many people here have been delivered. Tanta gente han sido librado. But everyone here that's received the Holy Ghost, everyone here, they would say, it's worth the effort. Todos aquí que han recibido el don del Espíritu Santo pudieran decir, vale la pena, vale la pena echar las ganas, vale la pena, hallelujah, enfocarnos en recibir el don del Espíritu Santo. Well, I've preached bilingual, he predicado, I know my Spanish is not perfect, yo sé que mi español no es perfecto, but I know God's dealing with hearts, pero yo sé que el Señor está tratando con corazones. So now it's your turn. It's not just my turn, it's your turn. Ahora es su turno. How will you respond to the word of God? ¿Cómo vas a responder la palabra del Señor? I want to invite anyone that would like to come to come. Quiero invitar a alguien que quiere venir. Que vengan ustedes. Don't be embarrassed. No tenga vergüenza. Come with us. Some of the saints, let's come. Alguno de los creyentes, ¿por qué no vengamos nosotros? Los creyentes, los fieles, ¿por qué no vengamos nosotros? Do you have the Holy Ghost? ¿Tiene el don del Espíritu Santo? Once they got the Holy Ghost, they turned the world upside down. Una vez recibir el don del Espíritu Santo, los cristianos voltearon el mundo. Cambiaron todo el mundo. And that's what you need. Es lo que usted necesita. Don't try to be perfect. Just get the Holy Ghost. No trato de ser perfecto. Justamente reciba el Espíritu Santo. Don't keep fighting your flesh. Come on, get the Holy Ghost. No siga batallando con su carne. Venga, reciba el don del Espíritu Santo. Come on, don't argue with God. Get the same Holy Ghost that the early Christians got. No argumentas con el Señor, ¿por qué no reciba el don del Espíritu Santo? Millions are receiving the Holy Ghost still today. Todavía hay millones que han recibido el don del Espíritu Santo. Africa, South America, Central America. In the United States, people are getting the Holy Ghost. En todo el mundo está recibiendo el Espíritu Santo. Joy, peace is yours in the Holy Ghost. Let's come, let's pray, let's seek the Lord. Come on, come on, the Lord is here. The Lord loves you. Señor le ama.
One more time before we dismiss. Una vez más antes que seamos despedidos. Why don't we all stand? ¿Por qué no nos ponemos de pie? And why don't we all thank God? Y le damos gracias a Dios. That he rose again. Que él se levantó una vez más. And gave us the power to overcome sin. Y nos dio el poder para sobrepasar el pecado. Jesus, thank you. Jesús, gracias. For the power of the resurrection. Por el poder de la resurrección. Thank you for every person that's come here today. Gracias por cada persona que ha venido aquí hoy. We pray your peace upon them today. Pedimos la paz sobre ellos. We pray that your spirit would leave this house with us today. Y te pido que tu espíritu se vaya con nosotros de esta casa hoy. We ask that you would continue to lead us in truth. Que nos continúes a llevarnos en la verdad. We ask that you would bless the food today. Que bendigas la comida del día de hoy. Bless the fellowship. Y el convivio. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. And everyone said amen. Todos digan amen. So this is how we're going to dismiss for the food. Es así como vamos a despedir para la comida. The easiest way to do this. La manera más fácil de hacerlo. And I will need the help of the ushers, Pop Shai, just to. Y voy a necesitar la ayuda de los ungieres para ayudar. If you go out the front door, si sales por las puertas del frente, like you're gonna leave, but don't leave. Si te fueses a ir, pero no te vayas. And you walk to your right. Y le caminas a la derecha. To the end of the building. Al fin del edificio. And then take another right. Y tomas otro otra derecha. There's a side door that will be open for you. Hay una puerta al lado que va a estar abierta para ti. You can come in that way and get your food. Puedes entrar por ahí y agarrar tu comida. And get your drink and sit down. Bebida y sentarte. It'll be way easier than us trying to just go directly over there. Va a ser más fácil tratando que ir directamente al otro lado. If you are over the age of 60. Si eres mayor de la edad de 60. And there is not enough room to sit over here. Y no hay suficiente espacio para sentarte aquí. Please have one show, have someone show you where the fellowship are yeah, where the hospitality room is. Que alguien te muestre dónde está el cuarto de hospitalidad. And we'll make sure that you have a nice padded seat. Y nos aseguraremos que tengas un buen asiento. So, thank you so much for coming today. Gracias por venir hoy. God bless you. Dios le bendiga. And let the fiesta begin. Y que empiece la fiesta.